Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thorne. Today we're talking the INFJ and ENTP relationship. And okay, I don't care if you're an ENTP dating an INFJ or an INFJ being constantly stalked by an ENTP. Today we're gonna get straight into it and discuss your lifestyle compatibility, your interests, your values, and just how well you two match. Okay, first of all, let's talk about like-mindedness. The like-mindedness of the INFJ and the ENTP is actually quite high. It's not as high as possible, but it is on a higher scale. So if you are with an INFJ, you'll find that you connect on and have pretty similar interests and hobbies. And that's the foundation of highlight mindedness the fact that you like similar things the fact that you enjoy and have a similar sense of humor and that you can uh, laugh about and uh, find fascination in similar things and similar discussions it's never going to be that you find that the other type is boring you're never going to find that oh my god they're uh, so trivial or so difficult to listen to or uh, yeah you're not not gonna have that you're gonna have that this person is simply fascinating this person is interesting to listen to this person has interesting point of views and perspectives this person cares about similar things that you do and pays attention to things that you thought only you cared about so that is quite refreshing and that's one of the reasons why INFJ and ENTP matchup is quite good now second, let's talk about teamwork. The honest truth is the INFJ and the ENTP relationship is not all sunshine and roses. There are struggles and teamwork is certainly one of the struggles. As an INFJ, you'll find that ENTPs have a very different attitude to work. And that means it can be hard to cooperate and work together with them in an efficient way. A lot of the time, while you both can have good conversations and enjoy similar things, in application, when working together on a project, that can be very frustrating. A lot of the time, the ENTP is not able to uh, complement your strengths and abilities to the way you would wish. They are not able to pick up your slack in areas where you are, where you are struggling to the same extent as other types would. Otherwise, when it comes to decision making and when it comes to cooperation, INFJs and ENTPs can have some struggles. Often, INFJs and ENTPs take different approaches to decision making. They think about things differently. They believe in different things. The ENTP valuing more freedom and the INFJ valuing more control. And this can cause a lot of difficulties. Another, on the other end, INFJs, they're quite cautious and careful and methodical types and ENTPs they are quite quick paced types that like to experiment and jump in and a lot of time if you have an organization and you're working together on something that is going to cause conflict because you're going to have one that is constantly trying to speed things up and one that is constantly going to slow things down so that's an area where you're going to need a lot more work Another difficult area is communication. And while you could say on one end the communication between the INFJ and the ENTP is great, on the other end it's not. <laughs> while you can have great conversations with an ENTP, a lot of time you're going to feel like these conversations don't seem to lead anywhere. So you're throwing out ideas, you're discussing different perspectives, and you're having fun talking with somebody that sees and can think about things in ways that you like and appreciate and find fascinating. But you can't really come to good agreements, you can't really uh, come to clear conclusions. It's difficult for both of you to kind of narrow down the discussion. And so you're going to find that a lot of time the conversation is not going anywhere. You're just going in circles, discussing things and discussing things and discussing things. And a lot of times the discussion remains abstract. The problem when you're talking with intuitives is you're both intuitives and that means uh, it's going to remain on a level that is kind of abstract and that's going to cause issues because you also need to go down to a practical matter. So how are we going to do it? When are we going to do it? And what tools do we need? What resources do we need to get it done? So that's an area where this matchup is going to need some work. Finally, let's talk about the core strength of the INFJ and ENTP matchup. And the core strength of this matchup is that you bring each other's growth. INFJs challenge ENTPs in ways that almost no other type can, perhaps apart from the INTJ personality type. That means ENTPs are going to find that when talking to an INFJ, they are given stimulating new perspectives. They are pushed to think about things from ways they had never thought about it before. They're shown different values, different ways to approach decision-making, ethics, and right and wrong. 
a lot of time an INFJ and an ENTP are going to truly be able to have conversations and experiences together that bring growth. That means when you're with an INFJ as an ENTP or when you're hanging out with an ENTP as an INFJ, you're constantly being pushed, questioned, tested. And while this can be a bit challenging at times, I mean, sometimes they're gonna be pulling you out of your shell, they're gonna be pushing you, they're gonna be holding you back, they're gonna be uh, doing things that you don't expect. They're also gonna show you new things because of that. And if you're able to meet those challenges and pass those tests, you're going to grow as a person and that's why this is perhaps one of the most popular matchups. No matchup is perfect and every matchup has its up and down. That means you have strengths to talk about. Your strengths are that you are very like-minded people that bring each other a high amount of growth. Your difficulties are that you can struggle sometimes in communication and teamwork. That means look out for this in your relationship and find ways around it. What can you do to better your teamwork? What can you do to better your communication? What tools can you use? What agreements can you make to make sure that your conversations are fruitful and that you get somewhere together? What can you do to work better together and to make sure that you don't get in each other's ways? A lot of time as an INFJ, you need to give an ENTP freedom to try out the new things and to work independently from you. Let them go out and do their thing while you focus and do your thing. And that's often the key to good teamwork between these two types. Divide work and labor between each other in a fair way and make sure that you both get to do things your own way. Don't try to micromanage each other or to tell each other how to do something. Give each other a space to do things the way that feels right to you. In terms of communication, the key advice is be each other's sensors. Be the one that tries to get the other person to define their thoughts and experiences. When somebody has and says something profound to you, be the person that kind of gives them the sensory backbone to make that profound thought or profound perspective something valuable and meaningful. So be the person that says, okay, but when are you going to do that? And how are you going to do that? And be the person that tries to constructively give them advice and feedback to make ideas real. This was my thought on the INFJ and ENTP relationship. Have you had any experiences with ENTPs as an INFJ? What do you think about INFJs as an ENTP? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video.